Hi, I'm Jody Treeweiler, and you're watching Jody's Fit Life. We're gonna talk about a superfood that I think you're gonna be excited to eat, and it's chocolate. Today we're coming to you from the True Rust float spot in Farmington Hills. Now I got it made. So. We're gonna head to the Drifter coffee truck in Detroit and learn all about the health benefits of coffee. It's a tough job, you guys, but somebody's got to do it. Today we're starting out at Handlebar Detroit, which is a cycle pub, and it's actually more work than I thought it was going to be, but we got to ride around Detroit, burning calories, having drinks, and enjoying the gorgeous sights of the city. After that, we really worked up an appetite, so we're headed over to Walk Asian Bistro in Northville. It's one of the healthiest restaurants I've ever been to, but it's also one of the most delicious, so stay with us. Great shops, great eats, and great places. It's my destinations, only on Xfinity On Demand. From Detroit to Grand Rapids, now you can check out some of Michigan's greatest destinations. Delicious pizza, Michigan craft beer, great family museums, and so much more. It's easy. Push the On Demand button on your remote, navigate to Get Local, and select My Destinations. It's my destinations, only on Xfinity On Demand. Another way Comcast stays focused on the community. I'm Doug Podell, and this is Rock 900. Catch Rock 900 every Tuesday night at 9, right here on CN 900. downtown in Detroit with the owner of the Handlebar Detroit, Brian Lindsay. Hey, Brian. What's up? I'm so excited to see what this <laughs> thing is all about. All right. How did you get into this business? Um, you know, my brother and I are both mechanical engineers, but um, we saw this thing uh, in a different city, and my brother took a picture of it, texted me it, and said, we're doing this. And it was kind of okay. like, well, why not? Why not try it? And uh, it's kind of ballooned into this big actual business. Um, yeah, but just started with why not? It's going crazy down here. Yeah. And yeah, Detroit's great. It's a cycle pub, so people actually power this cycle with cycling yeah, the pedals. You yep. have to ride it or it won't move. You got it. Yep, right? it's purely purely powered by pedals, um, and so you'll see you'll see when we get out there. But there's yeah. ten pedaling seats and six non-pedaling seats, so you do have a little bit of teamwork. But if people want to chill on the back, they can. Uh huh. Uh, and so typically, what do people do when they start riding? As we're gonna see clearly, right? We're gonna we're gonna get on the bike in a minute and, and action. He's we'll find out. We'll find out how good your friends are. Um, and that's how good of a workout you're going to get. Because, I brought a spinning instructor. Okay, well that's good. I figure she can pull my weight. That's good. Right? Yeah, that's that's a good person to have on the bike for yeah. sure. Yeah. So the funny thing, at least I think it's funny because I'm really short. I'm about five foot and a half an inch. Yeah, but And I'm got... talking to him on the phone and he's like, okay, as long as you're 5'3 and you can ride the bike. I was like, back it up. What did you just say? 5'3. So I had to wear these. Otherwise, we were <laughs> seriously concerned that I couldn't reach the pedals. It's, a good, it's good to have them just in case. Just in case. So, yeah. So, if you're so super short, I feel for you. You can still come, though, for a ride because you've got non-pedal seats. Yep, or you can have a good excuse to not pedal. It depends on your mindset. Just but, sit in the bar you know, stool there you and go. just not pedal. Yep. Just cheer everybody on. We get those, too. Yeah. Your bike is really unique because it's made in Amsterdam. Tell right. us about it. So, the pedal pub was invented by a couple of guys, um, a couple of brothers, actually, Hank and Zvir Van Laar. And they just, you know, in Amsterdam, it's the world headquarters of the bicycle. So they're also big drinkers. So for a float and a parade, these yeah. guys are like, hey, we want to do a float in the Queen's Day Parade, which is a big deal in Amsterdam. Okay. They built this thing, and actually people wanted to rent it. Like, they wanted to rent it on a Saturday, random Saturday. Mm -hmm. So then they started making more of them, and then it became a worldwide thing. So uh, we're proud, you know, that this is the original uh, pedal pub from Amsterdam. You'll see Dutch writing on it. It's actually cool. hand-built by the dudes who invented the idea. And we just ship it on a boat to Detroit. So. so this is the only authentic one. Even though you do have some competition now springing up because people we are do. seeing how much we fun do. your company is. Yep. Do you have the biggest, most seats? Well, we have the most seats. We have the, the biggest fleet. That's huge. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, we've got, we've got six bikes now um, in Detroit. So. so you could take out 64 people at once. 
Well, we could take out six, yeah, six bikes worth, which right. is what, 96? Oh, six bikes yep. worth. I yep. thought you had four. Yep. You must yep. have added more. Yeah, I do. Well, yeah, we got so two, if you have two an office now. party and you want to bring <laughs> everybody out, the other cool thing, so people are drinking, right? They're yep. drinking. So some people might think, why are you doing this on Jody's Fit Life? Well, the, you had a line that you used on me, which... <laughs> I said it's a calorie neutral workout. Okay. So, right. so I mean, technically, if you're drinking light beer and you have a couple and you're getting a good workout in, you could walk away with, you know. Yeah, so you start here, you drink some calories, but then you burn some off <laughs> and you're back to baseline. Right. So we're figuring if the bike maxes out at 12 miles an hour and maybe less, like that would yeah, be yeah, the yeah. max, unless yeah. you can burn roughly between two to 400 calories in an hour. Yeah, and it, so, it all depends how good your friends are. You know, like I was saying, if you pick bad right, friends, right. you might get more workout, so then you, you could look at that as yeah. a positive. Okay, so, so if one person's calories. doing more work, they're burning yep. more calories. Yeah, we took actually like um, Justin Advocator, the Red Wing, mm -hmm. we took him out last week and his friends weren't pedaling. But he was so he doing, he was doing like the whole thing himself and I was like, dude, you're doing it all by yourself. And he was like, I know man, these guys suck. He's just like grinding. That's, a, that's power class. So he one of my girls workout. on here is a spinning instructor. Because I really thought she can pull my weight, possibly, if, yeah, if I'm not Yeah, those are good hard. friends to have. I know. Handlebar, so. um, and what else? Anything else that we should know about the Cycle Pub? Um, not really. I mean, we're going to find out. I guess let's go on a ride and find so out. So it's Cycle. Tell us your website. It's a, it's a pedal. It's We call it Pedal Pub. Okay. Uh, our website's HandlebarDetroit.com. HandlebarDetroit.com. Plan words. Plan words. Handlebar. You I know, bike it. handlebar. I love the, the name. Yep. Uh, HandlebarDetroit.com. You handlebar. can go online and uh, toggle through the calendar and see what's open. Um, yeah. Everything's there. It's, it's pretty easy. I have so. to compliment you. The website is really, really well done. <laughs> Not only it's so professionally done. This morning I got a text that says you have to sign the waiver today. Yeah. And then there's a link to the parking. Yeah. And then it even says if you park on the street, here's a link to an app so you can um, validate your parking or update your park. Everything was really well put together. So as far as experience, ease of use, Good. ease of booking, and all that, I give you a ten. Good. It's I also laziness, though. I'll have to admit because. If people ask you the same question, you try to put it on the uh, website, and, yeah, I, yeah, and yeah. I can be lazy a right. little bit. Right, so. so the frequently asked questions section is very right. key. Don't yes. be calling Brian and asking him 36 questions. Check out the website, <laughs> read can. <laughs> what can you bring, what can't you bring, what should you wear, what you know, where are you going to go, all of it's on the website. Yep. All right, great, let's get over there. Awesome. We're going to get on that bike and let's go ride, cool. All the traffic laws, <laughs> though. You can definitely feel your legs working. This is a downhill. You've seen Comcast Newsmakers on CNN Headline News. Now you can watch them on Xfinity On Demand. It's easy. Push the On Demand button on your remote. Navigate to Get Local and select Comcast Newsmakers. Now you can watch in-depth interviews with politicians, public officials, and community leaders at your convenience. It's Comcast Newsmakers on Xfinity On Demand. Another way Comcast stays focused on the community. What if a home phone could also be a smartphone? And what if that home phone could save you money on your home and wireless bill at the same time? With Xfinity Voice, you get amazing technology like readable voicemail on your smartphone, caller ID on your TV, and even text messaging, all for a low price. Start saving with unlimited nationwide talk and text and switch to Xfinity Voice for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Almost done. Now you can pay your bill, manage your appointments, and check your connection status. Anytime, anywhere. Oh, so you're protesting? Okay. Introducing Xfinity My Account, available on any device. 
Great shops, great eats, and great places. It's my destinations, only on Xfinity On Demand. From Detroit to Grand Rapids, now you can check out some of Michigan's greatest destinations. Delicious pizza, Michigan craft beer, great family museums, and so much more. It's easy. Push the On Demand button on your remote, navigate to Get Local, and select My Destinations. It's My Destinations, only on Xfinity On Demand. Another way Comcast stays focused on the community. One thing that I love to feature here on Jody's Fit Life is a healthy restaurant where I can go and order something and not have to worry about making all sorts of substitutions. And I have discovered that in Walk Asian Bistro in Northville, Michigan. And I'm here with the owner, Greg Richards. Hey, Greg. How are you? I'm so excited to talk to you today. Greg has so much passion and what he has put into this restaurant is something that, of course, we're doing it on the show because I want people to come here and try this. Thank you. Tell me what makes you different, what sets you apart? So just, you know, I have friends that are vegan, I have friends that uh, you know, are gluten-free, and I said, why, uh, why is it so difficult for us to go eat, right? And so, uh, you know, if we go out and, and one of my vegan friends at their restaurant, it's like, okay, well, for us that, that enjoy meat and, and enjoy the other things, we, we don't have like a, a menu for us, right? Or we go out and we, we have gluten-free and you get like, oh, here's your tiny little menu with some options on it. Or, you know, you go out and you, you go to a typical restaurant and you're vegan, you go, oh good, I get a salad menu. And you're like, I haven't had enough of those this year, right? And you're like, I didn't turn vegan to eat salad all the time. And so mm -hmm. I said, why don't we bring together all those people and, and put them under one roof and allow everyone to eat off the same menu and no one feels left out, no one feels like, uh-oh, we've got to compromise something to go somewhere. Or call ahead of the restaurant and be like, are you guys really gluten-free? Or is it mm -hmm. just something you say to get people in? And so that's kind of what we developed here. And so um, we use a fresh cooking surface for every single dish. So it doesn't matter who you are, you get a fresh wok every single time. And that happens by default. You don't have to say, I have a peanut allergy or I'm gluten free. We just switch it out so you never have to worry. And then every single dish is created um, to order. So you never have to worry about uh, it being in a package or, oh, they just pulled the onions out of it or something like that. Mm -hmm. Everything's made fresh. So we have two ways to do it. You can create your own so you can control everything that goes into your bowl. If you, you know, if you're really focused on making sure you get X amount of proportions of certain things, you can do that. Or you can order off the menu and we create it for you off that same line. So you're always getting the freshest ingredients that you can. Mm -hmm. So people need to understand that you do vegan food here, vegetarian, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, yeah. paleo, low carb. Religious preferences. Religious boom, everything. There so there's no dietary restriction that you don't cater to. Correct. Yep. So, we've, we've literally had no one come in the restaurant that we haven't been able to accommodate. And we're starting, what's cool is as we've grown, we've seen allergies coming in the door that mm -hmm. you know these people have trouble going out to eat because they have allergies to things like corn or, you know, mm. the, just things that you go, well, corn's in everything. So are you, can you really come in here and eat? And yeah, you can. And I think a lot of that is because you have such fresh ingredients. You have 50 vegetables over there. Yes. In the line. 50. Yeah. And we, I can't even name 50 <laughs> vegetables, I don't think. <laughs> and we, you know, we source as much local as we can, too, because it's important to keep it local. So we yep. said, if we don't bring it in from overseas with some of our sauces and, and uh, a couple of the vegetables, actually, and then we said, we're going to source it locally um, so we can keep the money here in Michigan, because it's important with this farm-to-table style that we're trying to, to accomplish is keeping as much local. So same thing down to our, our alcohol menu we feature a lot of Michigan wines a lot of Michigan beers mm -hmm. um, at the same time it's if it's not Asian we're gonna keep it local and what's this go. what's this that called? is our cherry lime punch so we use the Michigan cherries and we've uh, actually infused them into the uh, the mm. rum there for this one and we uh, change it out as the year goes around and, and uh, so we'd like to use the seasonal items in, in different aspects of our cooking that's fantastic the reason that I came initially is my good friend Chuck Gatica from live in the D he used to host the show he, this is his favorite restaurant. Yeah. Okay? And you catered a party there at Channel 4, and mm -hmm. I went upstairs, I met Greg, but I got to taste, you know, the whole catering luncheon that you did, and I was so impressed, and the cucumber cups were really yeah. what got me, because it's a base, and you're going to see the cucumber right. covered with the tuna, and it's low carb, and it's healthy, and it's fresh, and I really feel like I can't eat like that when I go out with my family. Yeah. And I, it's worth the drive. So for me, it's 30 minutes to get here. I would not think twice. If you really awesome. care about eating healthy and it's important to you or your family has restrictions, this is worth it because the food is incredible. It's a beautiful atmosphere. If, if it's you. a celebration, you have alcohol for those who choose 
And yeah, I mean, hello, there it goes. Been already. So taste they, that, taste so that. So this is the whiskey. So we featured the Japanese whiskeys as well. Um, and so Yamazaki won world's best whiskey in 2015, mm -hmm. kind of put Japanese whiskeys on the map. And they're very highly allocated. They're very difficult to get. And so this guy here is uh, the Yamazaki 18. So this one's, uh, it's $50 a shot. So you know, bring a celebration. But we have That's everything right. from that all the way down to some of the blends and uh, so you can try them out, see what you like. And we also feature sake and a bunch of, so this is the hot sake, but what a lot of people don't realize is sake is really more meant to be drank cold. And so it's uh, more of a rice wine mm -hmm. is what people know of. So we do flights as well. So you can come in and you can sample different versions of it if you like flavors, if you don't. So mm -hmm. we really want to create an unpretentious restaurant, not only with the food, but with the drinks as well so that you can come in and just get a, a really cool experience. It's not just about eating. It's about coming in and, and enjoying everything about your experience when you come into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And did we already talk about the tuna poke this time, or was that the other uh, time? We did last time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring it up. Again. Yeah. I'm going to bring it up again. The one part of your menu that I'm most excited about is because I love tuna and I yes. love eating it raw. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of raw tuna. <laughs> you should not be scared of raw tuna. And if you haven't tried it, you got to at least try it. Yeah. You have a flight. Tell me about that part of the menu that you've just put together. So ahi poke is it's trending right now. And, and where it's trending, you're seeing a lot of the poke bowls, which, which are great, but they're all kind of like one and the same. So we said, let's kind of take this a different direction. And we're going to make this a, a really big focal point. And we're going to add in things like the cucumber cups that you enjoy. We also do um, like the tacos. We have a tartare that we do as well. So mm -hmm. we're taking it a bunch of different directions and a really cool rice noodle salad that we use with the ahi on top of that as well. And we're just getting started on outside the box thinking when it comes to ahi. So we're really excited about everything there. And um, fun fact for those that are vegan, on that entire ahi menu, you can sub tofu into it. And tofu has the Ooh. same texture and absorbs flavor the same way that ahi does. So we've had a lot of success, especially with um, like the tacos and the cups with taking tofu and putting it in there, same marinades and everything, and you That's can cool. still now eat it as a vegan right. and absorb the, and uh, enjoy the same flavor profile that you would um, if you, you know, were eating the fish. And with Uverse, you can move your TV anywhere in the house. We're happy with Xfinity. Why would we move the TV? I don't know, but let me show you. Now, if you had the Uverse wireless receiver, you could take this anywhere. <laughs> See? Anywhere you want. Don't get you by Uverse. Get the most entertainment on any device anywhere with Xfinity from Comcast. How's it going? Nice to meet you guys. I have these two laptops. We're going to each download a TV show. I'm going to download it on Xfinity, and you guys are going to download it with AT&T Uverse. And we're going to see who goes faster. Go. Well, this is a no-brainer so far. How's AT&T doing? Struggling. I'm ready to go. We'll wait for you guys. Looks like we're going to be waiting for a while. Don't let Uverse slow you down. Upgrade to an Xfinity X1 Triple Play from Comcast and save when you bundle. See for yourself. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit Comcast.com today. I'm Doug Podell, and this is Rock 900. Catch Rock 900 every Tuesday night at 9 right here on CN 900. Hey, uh, can you help me move? Oh, you know what? I'm stuck at the office. Hi, I'm moving. No problem, sir. You can get your Xfinity services installed on the date you choose or have a self-install kit sent to your new home. Thank you. Finally get some help moving. Call 1-855-MOVE-EDGE today. Jody's Fit Life, we don't like to feature desserts because <laughs> I'm very anti-sugar, right? Sugar. Right, right. But just real quick, tell us about your sushi brownies that you came up with and just the <laughs> amount of passion that you put into the presentation and that whole dessert. So the, the dessert itself started off, um, I do a lot of the farmer's markets and I'm cooking out there. And um, there was a, a girl, the Orange Fork uh, Chefs, that she does her own uh, brownies out there. And she did one that was gluten-free. And I was always, I'm saying, man, I want a gluten-free dessert that's uh, like a brownie, and a, you know, uh, or a cakey kind of idea. Mm -hmm. And so when I met up with her, and she had this brownie and it had cayenne in it. And I said, all right, it's kind of cool. I tasted it. I said, this tastes really good even for being gluten-free. And, and, uh, and uh, so we brought it in and I said, you know, 
people are going to enjoy this brownie, but cayenne is something that's going to come out of left field and people aren't going to be thinking a spicy brownie. And so my fear was, you know, we're going to end up throwing away more brownies than we are going to be enjoying them. So we went back to the drawing board and said, all right, now have you ever used Chinese five spice? Because out in uh, Phoenix, when I was out there at some of the resorts, um, we, there was a chef there that used um, the Chinese five spice in some of the desserts that we had there. And so I was like, take this back, try Chinese five spice and let's see. So she comes in the next day and she brings the whole pan and she goes, I'm putting Chinese five spice in everything from now on because <laughs> yeah. it's so cool. Because the spice itself is so robust and you know, with the ginger and the anise and the, uh, the cinnamon in there, mm -hmm. it, it's crazy cool how depending on what aspect of cooking you're using it in, it, it'll, it'll take on different highlights, the different flavor profiles there. So when using a dessert, it, it seemed to highlight the cinnamon aspect of it a little bit more. So it gave a little bit of a spice to it, but not much and gave you a really cool cinnamon flavor. So she brought them in and, and we tried them and everything was great. And then she was like, we should add some marshmallow to kind of offset the brownie thing. And so she said, that's great. And so she brought it, we got that all, you know, everything came in, tasted great. And then we said, all right, cool. Now it's got to look good. So back to the drawing board we went and we, we threw in, I said, everything in here is cool. We can't just have like, here's a brownie, enjoy and yeah, be done. Just a square so, on a plate, boring. Yeah, I was like, people eat with their eyes, whether they eat with their mouth, right? So I was like, it's got to look good, right? And people are taking pictures these days on Instagram, Facebooking, Truly. everything. So, Truly. Um, so we said, all right, it's got to look good, right? And so we put it together and um, then uh, we, we tried like square brownies and, and triangle brownies and all this other stuff. And finally, um, it was actually my mom that came up with this idea. She said, what about if we do like a skewer of, of brownies? And I was like, well, that's cool, but it's going to be a pain in the butt to put it all together. But I was like, the chopsticky idea got me thinking. I'm like, well, what do you use chopsticks for? I was like, oh, sushi. And so I said, what if we make these little circular brownies that kind of represent like what a sushi roll would, and it kind of looks like it. And then it just kind of developed itself from there. And so now mm -hmm. we have this really cool, unique dessert um, that, that people are, not only was it, not only is it just gluten free, but a lot of places I think that do gluten free, it's sort of like, uh, we should do a gluten free version of that, we'll go over here. But this truly was designed from the beginning as a gluten free dessert. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just been enjoyed by many and it's, it's really fun because it's gluten free, but if we didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. And that's, that's the lovely right. thing about it is it's awesome. So. Right. And I think that story is just an excellent example of the care and passion that you put into yeah. every single dish here. So we're gonna head into the kitchen and Chef Greg is gonna show me a couple of my favorite dishes and you're gonna get to see exactly how they make the food here at Walk. All right, what so here we go. So now we're just gonna hollow out the inside of these making the cups, right? So take these cucumbers out. That's so cute. There we go. That's not even a melon baller, is I mean, that like, just like a no. spice? Actually, the melon baller. Quarter was, teaspoon or something? We bought some melon ballers and they were too big. They were big, too big, so exactly. We ended up to go with. This I wondered how teaspoon. it didn't fall through yep. when I was eating these. Honestly, I thought, yep. how do you. That's Mercedes a shell. Mercedes did them well that day. Good job, was. Mercedes. There you are. All right, so now we've got that. So now you got your gloves on. So what we're going to do yeah. is take this, uh, this uh, ahi here. We're just going to start placing them inside those little oh, okay. holding vessels there. Holding vessels? Yes. Spoken cup. like a true chef. <laughs> This is the holding Science. vessel. That's actually uh, culinary terminology is sure uh, holding is. vessel. <laughs> Here we go. All right. It's a cuke. So the cuke has the ahi now. Mm. What's nice is you can notice too, like we're not skimping on ahi here. I mean, you're, you're yeah. getting full ahi on each bite. It's so great. And tell us about this marinade. Okay, so we've used uh, our wasabi soy sauce. Uh, we use a little bit of uh, togarashi seasoning, which is Japanese. I know what spice. that is. It's yeah. powder. Yeah, it's yeah. got a little bit of spice in it. It's got a little seaweed and so um, like some sesame uh, and a little bit of orange in there too. So it's mm. a little, nice, robust flavor. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of a crushed red pepper. So now we're going to take these guys. We're going to put them on the plate here. And last but not least, I saw you munching on those. Uh, the wasabi, yeah, the wasabi sesame seeds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd never seen those. And so we're gonna take the, the wasabi sesame seeds. Wasabi sesame Look at that. seeds, and those are gonna go on here. And they're perfectly spicy because they're so tiny. It's not like eating a wad of wasabi, right, which right. Whew, that goes right and into the brain. You've already gotten the wasabi um, from the uh, marinade itself. So yes. The nice simple dish, an appetizer you can that. grab when you come in. Thanks. Uh, and I can grab one now, Go probably, it. also. It, yeah. Thank you. Take one. Cheers. Oh, Come on, there let's get in there. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Nice fresh flavor. That's what I like about so it. So good. I'm Doug Podell, and this is Rock 900.
Catch Rock 900 every Tuesday night at 9 right here on CN 900. Great shops, great eats, and great places. It's my destinations, only on Xfinity On Demand. From Detroit to Grand Rapids, now you can check out some of Michigan's greatest destinations. Delicious pizza, Michigan craft beer, great family museums, and so much more. It's easy. Push the On Demand button on your remote, navigate to get local, and select my destinations. It's my destinations, only on Xfinity On Demand. Another way Comcast stays focused on the community. Hey, uh, can you help me move? Oh, you know what? I'm stuck at the office. Hi, I'm moving. No problem, sir. You can get your Xfinity services installed on the date you choose or have a self-install kit sent to your new home. Thank you. Finally get some help moving. Call 1-855-MOVE-EDGE today. You have to get a group of friends together and go ride Handlebar Detroit. It is such a fun experience. I hope you can see that from our fun ride that we had. And after that, also grab a group of friends, head over to Walk Asian Bistro in Northville. You're guaranteed a healthy meal and you know it's gonna be delicious. Thank you so much for watching. The color that we have going on there, you know. Yes, okay, so now we're gonna throw our black pepper sauce in. There we go. So it's actually crushed, cracked, and ground black pepper. So really robust flavor. So it's nice because you don't just get like one intense flavor of black pepper. And what's interesting too is with all of our spices, so we have like a sriracha bourbon sauce that we use, we have a black pepper, we have a wasabi. So um, you have different types of spice uh, profiles that are coming through. So a lot of times at Asian restaurants, you only get sriracha. Or if you go to a sushi place, you only get wasabi. Here, you can incorporate all the different styles. This is more like a Vietnamese flavor here. So we've brought them all together and infuse all these different flavors together. And so you can do all kinds of different combinations of sauces and they're really fun. So there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that cabbage here. I'm just gonna give it a light sear. Now we also have the option, you can mix it in or you can just use it raw as a bed underneath if you want to too. So there's two different ways to use that cabbage. So there we go, sear those guys up. Yeah, right away it, it goes down. So always pull all the way up so we know where we're starting at, because there's no gauge, it's not like you turn it to three or two. It's like, it's on or off, yeah. It's really an art, yeah. You can't cook on this extreme heat unless you get a commercial kitchen. However, in the cooking classes, I do show you how to purchase a wok for home. You get a wok ring or you can do a flat bottom wok like uh, um, that. What if a home phone could also be a smartphone? And what if that home phone could save you money on your home and wireless bill at the same time? With Xfinity Voice, you get amazing technology like readable voicemail on your smartphone, caller ID on your TV, and even text messaging all for a low price. Start saving with unlimited nationwide talk and text and switch to Xfinity Voice for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. I'm almost done. Now you can pay your bill, manage your appointments, and check your connection status. Anytime, anywhere. Oh, so you're protesting? Okay. Introducing Xfinity My Account, available on any device. You've seen Comcast Newsmakers on CNN Headline News. Now you can watch them on Xfinity On Demand. It's easy. Push the On Demand button on your remote, navigate to Get Local, and select Comcast Newsmakers. Now you can watch in-depth interviews with politicians, public officials, and community leaders at your convenience. It's Comcast Newsmakers on Xfinity On Demand, another way Comcast stays focused on the community. How's it going? Nice to meet you guys. I have these two laptops. We're gonna each download a TV show. I'm gonna download it on Xfinity, and you guys are gonna download it with AT&T Uverse, and we're gonna see who goes faster. Go. Well, this is a no-brainer so far. How's AT&T doing? Struggling. I'm ready to go. We'll wait for you guys. Looks like we're gonna be waiting for a while. Don't let Uverse slow you down. Upgrade to an Xfinity X1 Triple Play from Comcast and save when you bundle. See for yourself. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit Comcast.com today.